Hi darlings and welcome to another video as part of the Fashion Mumbler Summer Edit. So this week I'm doing a video every single day and they are all themed around, you guessed it, summer. Schools have just broken up, we are in the middle of a heat wave, so I thought why not do an entire week dedicated to summer. Today I'm going to be talking a lot about my beauty and lifestyle favourites for these warmer months. A lot of the videos this week have been very fashion focused, we have seen so many haul videos and there are still a lot more to come, lookbooks and wardrobe tips, things like that. But today I wanted to look at everything else, so my lifestyle and beauty favourites for the summer months. So this is going to be a real kind of cherry-picked selection of my favourite products and things that I find myself using time and time again every single day during the summer. As always, everything that I talk about in today's video will be linked down below, so just open up the description box to see more. And if you are just joining me, then welcome! And I'm actually running a giveaway this week to celebrate the Fashion Mumbler Summer Edit and hopefully hitting 300,000 subscribers this week, so I'm giving away a big bundle of beauty products worth over £200. It's open worldwide to anyone in the world. All you have to do is make sure you are subscribed to my channel and you've got your little notification bell switched on so that you are alerted to my new videos. Let me know once you've done that in the comment section below and I'll be choosing a winner at the end of the week. Now I don't know about you, but I have previously really struggled to get to sleep in this absolute heat wave. I'm sure you're so bored of hearing us Brits talking about the heat wave, but we don't have aircon in our homes. Even right now, this room is absolutely roasting. So it can be quite hard to get to sleep in the evenings, even with the windows wide open. So I do have a few tips, a few things that Chai and I have changed in our bedroom lately. The first of which is using an aromatherapy diffuser and essential oils. This is a brand new one that I have from Neom, and firstly, take a look at it, it's absolutely stunning. It's like a ceramic, whereas so many of them are plastic, and I don't know about you, but I don't like having some big, clunky plastic thing on my bedside table. This is beautiful, ceramic, it's got a gorgeous kind of diamond design on there with rose gold around the edges, and it's not too ginormous, not too imposing, it just looks like a beautiful ornament as opposed to an ugly aromatherapy diffuser. If you've not tried aromatherapy oils in the evening before, they just chill you out, that is the best way of describing it. I would highly recommend not being on your phone too much in the hour before bed. Charlie and I switch our phones onto airplane mode at around 9 o'clock in the evening, much to the annoyance of any friends and my mum who tries to text me or call me after that, but we just find it helps us to switch off. My favourite oil is the Neom Scent to Sleep Oil, I just put a couple of drops of that and some water into this and it just delivers the most amazing fragrance into the bedroom, which just helps you to chill, to unwind and get a better night's sleep because you're so much more relaxed and it smells amazing. If you've ever been into a Neom store then you'll know how divine their fragrances are. So using aromatherapy oils has been something that we have absolutely been loving using and is one of the ways that we've been getting a better night's sleep despite the heat wave. Another thing to look at if you are looking to improve your night's sleep is of course your mattress. Now I recently worked with Casper who sent me a brand new mattress. I will show you a little hyperlapse on the screen now of me unboxing it. Super convenient, they come in a box, very very speedy as well, I was so surprised how quickly this arrived, in fact I think it was about 48 hours after I ordered it, so very convenient, arriving in a box, you just unfold it onto the bed, snip it out of the plastic and over I would say it took about an hour to fully expand and in that short space of time you have your brand new mattress. This has made so much difference to Charlie and I during the heat wave. The type of very airy foam that they use for the Casper mattress helps the air flow within the mattress so you don't lie in bed super hot and sweaty, it's a lot cooler and more airy than other foam mattresses. As much as that's a priority during these super hot months, the main thing for us is that it's just insanely comfortable. Casper only use premium foam so instantly as soon as you lie on it you're like oh my god this is super super comfortable and also because of that premium foam it really helps with the alignment of your back so you're not going to be waking up with an achy back, achy muscles and considering at this time of year Charlie and I are also going pretty hard at our PT sessions that is ultra important to us so comfort, coolness and convenience the three C's they are the main reasons why we have been loving our Casper mattress I will leave a link to them down below and they are so much more affordable than you think as well so definitely check out their website 
And something else that we recently invested in in our bedroom is the Dyson fan. I can't remember the exact name of it, but it's the one that goes hot, cold, you have an app on your phone and it monitors the quality of the air. It's actually very addictive. It gives you a rating as to how clean your air is. It helps to get the pollutants out of the air. Very, very clever. And on that note, that's actually something that the Neon Diffuser does because it humidifies the air. It also cleans it. And living in Zone 2 in London, those things are very important. So the fan, the mattress and our new diffuser have really been helping us get a really good night's sleep despite the super super hot weather we're having right now. Okay so my first summer essential is something very important and it is to do with keeping ourselves hydrated. Not only that but throughout July I've been trying really hard to reduce my single-use plastic so my Chili's water bottle has been so so handy. I didn't actually appreciate how amazing this was until one particular day when I was out doing a photo shoot it was probably the hot and in fact I think it was the hottest day of the year my car inside was absolutely boiling and I went to grab a swig of water fully expecting it to be really horrible warm water but it was still ice cold this bottle I think it's aluminium um, kept my water freezing cold and this was probably about eight hours after I poured the water in from the Brita filter in the fridge so I was very impressed with that apparently it keeps water ice cold for 18 hours and hot water hot for maybe like six or seven hours so I'll also be using this in the winter for my coffees but at the moment it's just so so handy and it really encourages me to drink more the fact that I have this with me there are quite a few shops in town where you can refill your water bottles for free I know Neil's Yard for example have taps in their stores L'Occitane have taps as well so you can go into a lot of places to top up your water bottle so that is my first summer essential my next summer essential is a beauty product and I get so many questions about my tan when people meet me in real life or here on YouTube my tan is always fake I am full-on factor 50 sunblock when I go away very careful to protect my skin so I live on fake tan and at this time of year I like to be super bronze so what I use to achieve it is my Vita Liberata two to three week phenomenal tan. I have got the shade dark. In the autumn, spring, winter I use medium but this time of year I like to switch it up so that I can be super super dark. I love this one for many reasons. Firstly it's organic so I'm not putting any nasty chemicals on my skin. Super long lasting, no fragrance and just delivers the most amazing tan. If you would like my full how to create a flawless tan I'll leave the video where I talked about that down below. But yeah my most frequently asked question is what fake tan I use and it is this one so now you know Vita Liberata 2-3 week phenomenal tan this is also now available on ASOS so I will leave a link to this exact one down in the description box when it comes to my advice for tanning my main thing would just be surprise surprise preparation is key I would suggest getting yourself some exfoliating gloves I have a little pair from soap and glory and I use them every single time I shower and this just very gently and regularly exfoliates the skin so not only is your skin prepared prepared when you want to apply the tan but also it stops it from fading unevenly because your skin is always being very gently exfoliated so dead skin cells are a thing of the past and you always look glowing and bronzed which is exactly what you want during the summer months. I'm holding this up as well because I just got a new tanning mitt and the Vita Liberata tanning mitts are absolutely beautiful. It's gold and I love it. Moving on to another beauty favourite for summer, it is my Wild Rose Beauty Balm from Neil's Yard Remedies. This happens to be a very special pot indeed, not only does it have my name on it, but if you saw my vlog from when I went to the Neil's Yard Eco Factory in Dorset, you may know that I actually made this pot, so I know I didn't make the pot, I made the cleansing balm within it. So I can tell you exactly what ingredients are in this, and let me tell you, Neil's Yard only used the highest quality ingredients, all organic, all super good for your skin, no chemicals, no parabens, nothing nasty, which is so, so important. This is a really fantastic multitasking product, so if you're going on holiday, if you're going to a festival, then this is absolutely something you should pack. I love this for many reasons in summer. If I have had a day in the sun, my skin might be a little bit dry, a little bit dehydrated so what I'll normally do is use a micellar water to get rid of most of the oils and makeup on my face and then leave this on my skin for up to an hour I'd say and just let my skin enjoy all the essential oils and all the goodness in this like a super nourishing face mask then what I'll do is run the hot water over my flannel and just gently buff this off so I get a little bit of gentle exfoliation as well and the oils just help to melt down and cleanse any dirt any makeup on my skin 
Also, you can put it in the ends of your hair for any dry flyaways, if you've got dry elbows, um, if you've got any insect bites, it's very calming. It just has so many benefits, so definitely a really good essential part of your skincare and general beauty routine throughout the summer months. Sticking with the beauty and skincare theme, it is so, so important to protect the skin during the summer and not just from the UV rays, but also from H, I think it's HEV light, blue light. So any light that comes from your screens, that's from your mobile phone, from the television, from your laptop, our skin is getting damaged by that light all the time. So a new favourite product in my beauty routine is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Defence. I've always been a huge fan of the Complexion Rescue range, their tint and moisturiser is a huge favourite of mine. This is SPF 30 but it also protects against blue light so your skin is getting not only environmental protection but also sun protection and light protection. So your skin is just totally covered with this. This is what I apply after cleansing my skin, before I put on my makeup, and because it's from the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue range, you know it's just going to give your skin a beautiful glow. I'm wearing it today, so on a day where it's very warm, very sunny outside, not only is my skin glowing, but I also am very confident that my skin is protected. This one is a little bit of a tease, I'm afraid, because it's actually not out for a little while, but it is the new Clarence Skin Illusion SPF 15 natural hydrating foundation, a very long name. This one doesn't come out until the end of next month but I have been using it for a week or so and I'm absolutely loving it. It is the first serum foundation from Clarins so as you can imagine it's very very light on the skin and allows you to have a really gorgeous natural glow, perfect for hot days when you don't want a really thick cakey product on your skin. It's also SPF 15 so even more protection and it has Clarins anti-pollution complex in there as well so another hit of protection for the skin. What I love most about this is the really really lightweight consistency. It's almost watery when it comes out the droplet. I apply it to the back of my hand and then I use my buffing brush just to blend it into the skin and it's so quick. I love doing it on days when I want to have a little bit more coverage but I still want to look really fresh and natural. It is barely detectable on the skin, so comfortable. I'm wearing it today and I actually have the shade Chestnut 113 which is probably the darkest foundation that I've got but I find that when I'm fake tanning I do need something a a little bit darker but because it's so light and watery and liquidy I would say this would blend really well if you do already have a favorite foundation but you just want to make it a little bit darker haven't tried that personally but generally switching up your foundation to something lighter a BB cream a tint and moisturizer is a really good thing to do during the summer months last but not least this one is kind of random but I had to throw it in because it is just something I absolutely love using during the summer months and it is my almond shower oil from L'Occitane this is just the most divine thing to use all year round, but especially in summer because it is so nourishing to the skin. So when you apply this, it's like an, a very luxurious silky oil, and then it just very gently foams into a soft milk on the skin when you're using it with, I use it with my exfoliating gloves in the shower. The skin just drinks up the nourishment and the goodness from the almond oil. It smells absolutely divine. It leaves the skin so, so soft, and it's also good to use if you're exfoliating or if you're shaving because it's just so lovely and calming to the skin. I find that this moisturizes my skin so much that my skin doesn't get dry if I'm using fake tan, because obviously if you're fake tanning, you're not going to be applying a body lotion after you get out of the shower. Before this, I used to find that especially the lower half of my legs, my shins would get very dry and scaly, but because this is so nourishing and moisturizing, I don't find that anymore, even if I skip out the body lotion because I need to fake tan later in the day. A little shout out to my L'Occitane travel kit because that actually contains a travel size version of this, so if you've not tried it before, it is one of the goodies in my little L'Occitane pouch. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, I collaborated with L'Occitane for a little travel vanity pouch filled with my favorite products from the brand. It's £25. I'll leave it linked down below and it's a great opportunity to try out the brand or try out some of their best products and my personal favourites including this one. So definitely give it a go and without doubt you will see what I mean and instantly fall in love. So those are my summer lifestyle and beauty favourites. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what your summer favourites are down below. If there's anything really obvious I've missed out or anything that you can't live without during the summer months, then let me know. As I mentioned, everything will be linked in the description box. And that is all from me. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.